Hey guys, it is Monday, March 29th. I have 20 eBay orders to ship out today, but before I get started, I wanna tell you guys about a package I got. I actually got this on Saturday. This is the signed presidential debate media pass that I showed you guys. I think it's been about three weeks ago now that I bought it. I paid $200 for it, decided to send it off to JSA to get authenticated. Has signatures from Ross Pro, George Bush Sr., and Bill Clinton. And it came back really quick, actually. I shipped it out March 10th, and it came back on Saturday the 27th. So from the time I shipped it, they authenticated it and sent it back. It was 17 days. I don't know yet if it came back authentic or not, so stay tuned the end of this video and I'll open it up and show you guys. All right, I got a lot of packages to go out. Let's get to work. First few things I went ahead and pulled from my storage unit. Let's see, this is a vintage Indiana University Hoosiers shirt. It's single stitch, something I got from the Mojo Casher crew a couple months ago, I think it's been now. And this is an offer I sent out. I sent out a handful of offers over the weekend and this washer accepted for $26 free shipping. Next is a Territory Ahead. This is a men's button-up polo. That sold for $29.99 free shipping to a viewer named Ignacio. Then we've got a Warner Brothers Wiley Coyote polo, or maybe it's a shirt. It's a t-shirt with a pocket on the front. That sold for $24.99 free shipping to a viewer named Henry. Then a couple of viewer sales outside of eBay. This is that No More Garcia Parra bobblehead you guys saw me pick up at that garage sale last weekend. I paid, I think, $5 for this. Yeah, and it sold to Frank for $25 free shipping. And at that same garage sale, I got this first season of Colombo new in the plastic, and that is going out to Keith for $12 free shipping. Ignacio, Henry, Frank, and Keith, I want to thank you guys all so much for the support. I really appreciate it. Next thing is a Hulk figure. I think I'm shipping out a couple Hulk things today. Let's see, this one right here sold. You guys saw me buy that big Hulk collection a few weeks ago along with that big eBay store. This one is from the Legends series. It sold for $49.99 plus shipping. Next thing is a coffee mug down here in A51. You guys saw me get a whole cabinet full of coffee mugs from that big buy. Uh, this is from 1979, the company's Taylor and NG. That sold for $24.99 plus shipping. That mug's going out to a viewer named Jason. He says, hello Cincinnati Picker, huge fan of yours. Watch your videos all the time. Just wanted to say thank you for all you talk about to help fellow eBay sellers and junkers. Just wanted to show my support from one eBay seller to another. Keep up with the great videos. Happy junkin' from eBay store, but ugly junker 77. That is a great store name. P.S. Can I get one of those famous stickers from you? Jason, thanks for your support. I don't know how famous the stickers are, but I'll definitely throw some in for you. All right, another Hulk toy is going out. This one is right here on the E2 shelf. This is the Galactus series that has the comic book with it. That sold for $29.99 plus shipping. Sold a wrestling figure. Let's see, up here in C32. Scott Hall, Smash and Slam. The packaging was a little beat up on this. I got it from the Mojo Casher crew. I had it listed for, I want to say like 35 for 30, something like that. Somebody offered me $20. I countered with $25 plus shipping and they accepted. Next thing is an offer I sent out. This Ninja Turtle van, Funko Pop. This is from that big Funko Pop collection I bought a couple months ago. And this is the very last one I have. I did really well on that buy. Uh, I think I ended up profiting like... 700 800 something like that this one sold for 90 dollars plus shipping next thing is a doom pc game right here at a41 this is something i've had for quite some time only have one or two dollars into it as part of a bulk deal that sold for 16.99 free shipping next thing shipping out is a tom brady card right here in a3 this is a tops chrome x fractor i got in a recent collection that i bought out and it's just a tiny bit off center so if you guys look at the edges this left side is wider than this right side and that hurts the value a little bit if you're trying to get it graded this card recently has been selling between like 80 to 100 but since mine's off center i think i listed it for 80 sent out a best offer of 65 dollars free shipping and the watcher accepted next thing is another offer i sent out back here on f2 this is a hunting fanny pack and i think it also doubles as like a shoulder backpack well it's getting caught on the rack here let's see if i can dig it out there we go this is made by badlands part of that big hunting buy i recently made 
and I think I've sold through just about everything. This might be the last piece I have left. That sold for $82 plus shipping. Next is an A41. It is a Nintendo DS game. Let's see here, right here, and while I'm in here, I know that this sold as well, so I'm gonna go ahead and pull that out. The DS game is Metroid Prime Hunters. Uh, I got this at that flea market sale along with that Nintendo DS. That sold for $18.99, free shipping. And this piece is a, uh, what do they call this thing? A peep, your bow when you're hunting. That sold for $9.99, free shipping. Next thing is a laser tag set. Let's move this rack out of the way. It is in here, I believe. Yep, this is it. This is called the recoil. So we've got instructions, different guns, some of these bases. I got this as part of a bulk buy when I went up to Wapakoneta to get a bunch of stuff, probably like two, three months ago. That sold for $59.99 plus shipping. Next thing is an A2. This little hippo right here. This is part of that eBay store buyout. It is stamped MMA on the bottom. That is for the Museum of Mar Modern Art. And that sold for $24.99 plus shipping. Sold another Hulk figure over here on D3. This has its original box and everything. I did open it up just so, you know, the buyer could see what was in there. It's got the comic. Actually, you know, this one doesn't have the comic. Um, this is the 80 year anniversary edition and it sold for $59.99 plus shipping. Okay, while I've been packing orders, I made another sale and I thought I would go ahead and ship it out. It's this big guy right here. This is a Hamilton Beach Quick Dry Deluxe Garment Drying Station. I got this at a garage sale last weekend um, from Susan, actually, viewer of the channel, sold it to me. And I paid $40 for it. It sold for $89.99 plus shipping. Next thing we're shipping out is actually hanging on my wall right here. This is an Offspring Handbill you guys saw me buy from the Mojo Casher crew. I thought about keeping it and I hung it on the wall for a little while and then I decided to list it. I think I listed it for maybe around 100, 120, something like that. I sent out a best offer to somebody for like $95 and they countered with $80 free shipping and I accepted. If you're name Mike got that. Mike, thanks so much for the business. I hope you like that hand bill. Okay, next sale is a big item. Let's see, I put it, where did I put it? A5, okay, it's right down here. This is the in motion uh, elliptical machine. You guys saw me buy it at that garage sale last weekend. I paid $20 for it. It sold for $49.99 plus shipping. And that is going out to viewers Robin and Mason. Guys, thank you both so much for the support. Next thing we're shipping out is a lot of letterheads. And I think I'm just about out of these. Let's see, I sold five to one buyer. I had them all listed around 20, I'm sorry, around 30, $40 each. And the buyer offered me $20 each on five of them for a total of $100 plus shipping. We've got LH17, maybe right here. Yep, LH17 from the Union Distilling from 1915. Then we got LH13 right here. It's a really good looking one. Uh, Eagle Liquor Distillers with that big factory right there. Let's see, I already sold LH14 on the other side. LH12 from 1906, Ullman and Company whiskeys. And LH4, let's see, nothing on the other side, uh, from SJ Canman and Company, and LH1 from Rosenthal and Sons. Like I said, these all sold for $100 plus shipping. I'll just combine them in the same box and refund them the difference in the shipping cost. Next thing going out is a Coleman jug right here with the original box. It is used, but overall in pretty good condition. That sold for $34.99 plus shipping. I call my jugs going out to viewer named Dan. He says, hey, John, my fiance Dina and I have been reselling here and there for a few years. This year, we're really trying to ramp up the business. Your channel has taught us so many bolos. One, for example, VCR and DVD combos have done great for us. We've recently started getting more serious about reselling and started an eBay store. We are also considering starting a YouTube channel, picking flipping as a side hustle while balancing life work with seven kids. Wow, you guys have got your hands full. I don't have any experience with what type of camera to use while picking, how to film, or video editing, and it's a, it's all a bit intimidating to start. I was wondering if you had any advice on where to begin if we decide to start a channel. We can't wait to take this cooler to the beach and to picnics with the family this summer. Thank you again, Dan. Dan, thanks for the business, and as far as using a camera, I always recommend using your phone to start. I use my iPhone for like 
the first year that I was making videos because it takes pretty good videos and you can edit them all on your phone and that way you're not spending a whole lot of money. Uh, when you're making videos, you can spend a lot of money in a hurry if you want to. Cameras get really expensive, editing software gets really expensive. So try it out with your phone first, see if you like it. You know, if you're still doing it a few months from now, you really enjoy it, then maybe invest in a camera. After I used my phone for a year, I upgraded to GoPro 3 and I used that for like six months or so then i jumped all the way up to the seven and now i'm using the eight so i personally love the gopro really versatile if you guys do decide to start a channel i wish you nothing but the best of luck with it it's tuesday morning i have 10 ebay orders to ship out and first thing i went ahead and pulled from my storage unit this is a pretty unique shirt you guys have heard of the movie dances with wolves this t-shirt says dances with wolves like a dog barking this was part of that big eBay store buyout I made, and I think I had it listed for like $35 free shipping. Somebody sent me an offer of $25, and we settled on $30 free shipping. And next, I've got some consoles uh, I sold as parts. Actually, a uh, viewer named Michael has bought some consoles from me before, so I reached out to him saying, hey, would you want these? It is a Game Boy Advance. This in the back piece. Uh, white PSP, maybe like a Star Wars version or something. You got Darth Vader there. Uh, these didn't work. And then this one that I just picked up a couple weeks ago, I thought I had a charger for it, but I don't seem to have a charger for it. So I thought uh, I sold him all three of those for $50 free shipping. Michael, as always, thank you for the business and I hope you get those working. Okay, next thing going out is a piece of ephemera. And I believe this is the last piece I have. Oh wait, nope, there must be one more. Okay, the one that sold is LH21, I believe. Yeah, LH21, it's the reverse side right here. Uh, this one wasn't super special just because it didn't have any graphics or anything, you know, at the top of the letterhead. I had it listed for like 20 bucks or so. Somebody sent an offer of $10 plus shipping and I accepted. And if you were named Ricky, got that. Ricky, thanks for the support, man. I really appreciate it. Next thing, we're going over to C2 right here. This is a Nerf gun that I got probably two months ago as part of a bulk buy, so I've only got a couple dollars into it. That sold for $15.99 plus shipping. Okay, next we're pulling some cards. We'll come over here to A3 first. I sold a lot of 25 basketball cards that had a Michael Jordan and Kobe Bryant. Let's see, it is BB1. Finally wised up and put extra inventory codes on these. These I started at a dollar. I started all of them at a dollar, actually, for auction. These sold for $27 plus shipping. And next one that sold out of here is BB2. This had a Shaq and a Jordan and a Kobe, actually. And those sold for $60 plus shipping, going out to viewer named James. And then we come over to C4, and we sold some more cards out of here. Let's see, I sold football lots labeled FB2 right here. This had a Brett Favre, Steve Young, and some other cards. That sold for $20.50 plus shipping. I sold a lot of MLB cards. MLB 2 right here. 25 cards total. Uh, there's a Ken Griffey Jr., a Derek Jeter, and some other ones. That sold for $13.15 plus shipping. Lastly, two lots went to one buyer. We've got FB1 and MLB1. So there's MLB1 right there. That has a Vlad Guerrero rookie, a uh, Vlad Guerrero Jr. rookie card in it. And then we've got FB1. Let's see. Right here. That has a Rob Gronkowski rookie card in it. These two were going to the same buyer for $52.00 plus shipping and as a viewer named Justin that got those. James and Justin guys thanks so much for the support I appreciate you bidding on the auctions and I hope you like those cards. Next thing going out is an E41. This little guy right here it is an ever built anti-sweat valve for plumbing part of the eBay store buyout that I made. I had two of these actually and one of them just sold for $16.99 free shipping. Okay next is where is it right here? These are those Delta Junior wings. You guys saw me saw some of these last week and I just sold some more. I did these in lots of four. And let's see here. Somebody bought two lots of four, so it's a total of eight. Four, five, six, seven, eight. So all of these sold for $23.98 free shipping and they're going out to a viewer named Charles. Charles, thanks so much for the support. Hey guys, it is Wednesday morning. I've got eight eBay orders to ship out today. And the first one is actually a local pickup, so I don't have to ship it. 
buyer reached out yesterday saying, hey, I'd like to get this, but I'm local. Can I pick it up and avoid the shipping? I said, yep, that's no problem. They had sent me an offer on it. I think I had listed for like $30 and they offered $25. And since there was an active offer, eBay wouldn't let me change any kind of like shipping options on it. So I couldn't like add local pickup. So I just went ahead, accepted the offer and then messaged them saying, hey, I'll wait to invoice you. Got an alarm. Uh, I said, hey, just wait to pay. Let me invoice you. So I sent them an invoice and I changed the shipping to local pickup, you know, free, like no charge. And they went ahead and paid. And it is this Indy car right here. This guy. I picked this up at a flea market sale, like an indoor flea market thing two weeks ago. Paid $10 for it. And I thought I would show you guys how eBay does this now. I think they changed this a year or two ago. Whenever you have a local sale, you go into your app. I'm sure you could do this on the PC too. And there's an arrange pickup button. So you tap that and it'll say scan to confirm pickup. So what you want to do is your buyer, when you give it to them, you want to go into their app and they're going to have a code. You want to scan that code. That way it say it basically protects you showing that you delivered it and also you know takes it out of your queue of items to ship so just something i want to let you guys know also heads up if you guys ever get a message from you know a potential buyer on an item and they message you on ebay and they say hey you know i'll meet you locally and i'll give you cash and we'll do this deal outside of ebay don't ever ever agree to do that don't even message saying that you're thinking about it because eBay has this algorithm where they scan these messages and they know when people are trying to cut eBay out of the deal and they will shut you down. Luckily it's never happened to me but I've seen it happen to other people so whenever somebody messages you on eBay do not try to cut eBay out of the deal because the second you tick that item down they will suspend your account maybe for a week and maybe for a month maybe for 90 days I don't know but I promise you it will happen. Now, if they send you an email outside of eBay, then, you know, it's all fair game. You can take it down and do a local deal, however you want to do it. But just a heads up, guys, be careful with that. Now that they're processing payments, I would guess that the buyer has to pay through eBay too. You know, eBay doesn't just want the final value fee. They want the, you know, the piece of the pie of the payment as well. So just something to be aware of. I don't know if you can, if they buy it on eBay and they get their fee, if they can still pay you in cash, I would say just to be safe, make sure your buyer pays on eBay in addition to, you know, buying on eBay. I don't know if any of that made sense. But anyways, I'm on my way to meet this guy. Going to drop this off and get him his car. How's it going? Good, how are you? Good. Good. That went pretty smoothly. And I didn't realize it when he bought it, but he was actually a viewer of the channel. His name's Jeff. So, Jeff, thank you for the support. Hope you like that car. And I've now got seven more orders to ship out. So, let's get back to the warehouse and get it done. All right, guys, back at the warehouse. And I have a viewer sale going out uh, outside of eBay. Noah reached out to me about these Goosebumps, VHS tapes, and uh, school folders that I got in that eBay buyout. These are all going out to Noah for $30 free shipping. Noah, thanks so much for the support. Shipping out some more cards today. First lot is right here in C4. It is patch cards and autograph cards. Total of 13 of them. They're all football. Those sold for $41 plus shipping. Next thing of cards is on C32 right here in this box. This is a sealed set of, or I'm sorry, sealed box of 9091 soccer cards. My buddy Mike actually gave those to me to sell. So Mike, if you're watching this, thank you so much, buddy. Those sold for $29.99, free shipping. Next thing is on B3. It's these right here. There's a total of four of these. These are uh, post bases for decks or, you know, if you're making gazebos or any type of wood stuff where you need a post base. And I got all four of these from the eBay store buyout. Same buyer bought all four. Let me check the price. Uh, for $119.96 plus shipping. I'll just put them all in the same box and refund them the difference in the shipping cost. Next thing is a Mickey Mouse plush. Let's see. It was an old inventory code that said B3. So, yeah, this isn't right here. This is a hand puppet. Really cool. I've had it for a few months. Only paid a dollar for it. That sold for $14.99 plus shipping. And it's going out to a viewer named John. 
John says, my daughter's going to love this Mickey plush. My wife and I are relatively new part-time resellers and your content along with others have been instrumental in our success. Not to sound boastful, but to demonstrate your influence, our last 90 day total is hovering at around $14,000. That is awesome, John. I've grown extremely confident in selling sporting goods and other things thanks to you. If it's not too much trouble, can I throw in a shameless plug of my Instagram? It's at Polly Picker. Polly is in Polynesian. John, thanks for the business. Hope your daughter likes that Mickey Mouse plush. Next thing is a nose cushion for a CPAP machine. I believe it is up here somewhere maybe. Nope, down here it is. This is a uh, replacement like nose thing for the CPAP. I got this a long time ago, maybe like nine months ago. I've got less than a dollar into it. That sold for $9.99 free shipping. We've got some more cards going out. Let's see. Most of them are in C4, so I'm just going to bring this whole box over to make things a little bit easier. One lot is 25 football cards. I marked it FB3. These right here, it's got a Tom Brady, Aaron Rodgers, a uh, bunch of other ones. That sold for $52 plus shipping. And the next order has four lots of cards. Three of them are in here. We've got MLB3, MLB4, and FB4, each of these are 25 cards, did an auction with each of them. And the fourth lot the buyer bought is an A3. And it is BB3 right there. Same buyer got all four of these for $141 plus shipping and they're going out to your name, Eli. Eli, thank you so much for the support. Really appreciate it. It's Thursday morning. I have five eBay orders to ship out. Uh, but before I do that, I'm gonna let you guys know today is April 1st, meaning it is the start of Q2. So if you guys have eBay stores, you are now eligible to use your shipping coupon for Q2, whatever your store is. If you get $20 coupon, $50, whatever, go ahead and use it because it does expire at the end of this quarter. All right, let's pack some orders. First one is a doozy i went ahead and pulled this from my storage unit this is a polo high-tech shirt it's like a quarter zip shirt blue and yellow got this uh from daniel in that recent ebay store buyout it sold the same day i listed it i might have underpriced it a little bit but i'm fine it sold for 149.99 plus shipping so that is a bolo for sure guys keep out keep an eye out for bolo, uh, polo high-tech next we've got some viewer orders going out this is a harry potter figure that I got in that uh, big garage sale buyout. This is going on to Devon for $15 free shipping. Then we've got some Captain America underoos going out to Lisa for $20 free shipping. And lastly, we have a lot of six Harry Potter figures going out to Veronica. We've got Hagrid, Hermione, Ron Weasley, Dobby, Harry Potter and Dumbledore. Uh, Veronica got all six of those for $75 free shipping. Devin, Lisa, and Veronica, guys, thank you all so much for the support. All right, next thing going out is a catcher's mitt. Right here, this is an Nakona glove. I got this last summer on the Route 127 yard sale. So we were down in Tennessee hitting the sale with Lonnie and Candace and Kevin, and we just had a lot of fun. And I bought this for $3. And I've had it listed ever since for $49.99 or best offer because it has a little bit of damage here. Nothing too terrible, but the Kona is the absolute premium baseball gloves. I mean, brand new, this glove was probably $250 or more. So anytime I find the Kona for a reasonable price, I pick it up. This finally sold for full asking price, $49.99 plus shipping. Next thing is a belt buckle and E31. Let's see right here. This is by Z Series, and you've got cowboy and some cows. Pretty neat look there. Um, I got this in a bunch of belt buckles from Danny from the Pickle Resellers channel. That sold for $12.99 free shipping. And last thing we're shipping out is a Hulk figure up here on E1. This is Hulk Buster Iron Man MK2. This thing is absolutely huge. Probably like. 12 inches tall it just has a really cool look to it this was part of that uh bulk buy i made with the whole collection and ebay store that sold for 59.99 plus shipping and it's going as a viewer named jose 
And Jose says, hey John, want to give you a huge thanks for all the great content and knowledge you give all of us. Saw the statue on the video you got and knew I had to have it. God bless to you and your family and keep up the amazing things y'all do. Jose, thanks for the support and thank you so much for the kind words. It really means a lot. All right guys, I am taking tomorrow off to spend the day with the family. We're going to the zoo. So I'm going to go ahead and open up this UPS package like I promised you guys. And we're going to see if it comes back authentic. Well, this is not good. We regret to report that after a thorough examination of your recently submitted autographs, we are unable to certify its legitimacy. It is our, it is our considered opinion that the submitted item is not in fact an authentic example. Several factors became apparent during our inclusive examination that prevented us from certifying the autographed item. Atypical letter slant, baseline misalign, irregular letter shape and or formation, uh, sizing of letters disproportionate well that sucks so I spent 200 on this and another hundred to get it authenticated so I'm out $300 but just a lesson learned <laughs> I guess this time that I was kind of out of my element on this by getting something that I you know don't know a lot about I know a good amount about sports memorabilia and autographs but not a whole lot about presidential so lesson learned on this Honestly, I'm glad that I didn't sell it on eBay without authentication and then the buyer get it authenticated and then come back to me because my account could be seriously damaged by selling fake autographs, fake signatures. You know, that's, that's a horrible thing to do. So definitely a lesson learned and chalk it up to inexperience. All right, I also got some viewer mail I wanna open. First is from Eli in Texas. Dear Cincinnati Picker, we never miss an upload and know you love the Cincinnati Reds. When we bought some baseball cards and saw a Reds card, we thought of you. Hope you enjoyed the card. If you could give us a shout out and check out our YouTube channel, we just started the San Antonio Pickers. Sincerely, the Andrews family. Oh, that is cool. 1990 World Series Reds card. Eli and family, guys, thank you so much, man. I really appreciate it. Okay, next is from Knox in Pennsylvania. John, I wanted to send you a sticker of our new channel for your table. My family and I enjoy your videos and the kids talked me into making a channel. Keep up the good work and good luck to you and your family, Mike Knox and family. And here is his sticker. That's pretty slick, Mike. Yinzer Picker. That'll look good on the workbench. Mike, thank you for sending it. And that is it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.